I got plenty. Um, all but but I will warn you, all of them are ass. Sorry. Dirk, Dirk. We all can't be perfect. We all can't be perfect. How you doing, Lucas? Doing great. Yeah. Doing great. Yeah. One so, day closer to those uh, famous summer breaks you're talking about. Yeah. Childhood. In the, in the last episode we talked a little bit mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. That was uh, that is something I miss, man. That is something I miss. Even I still even get a little excited. <laughs> For my kids and to be at, like, right. you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah. I don't why know. Are you why. excited? You're getting out of school? Yeah, why am I excited? I, I have I probably go 40 more memories I could honestly talk about now that I'm just sitting here that, thinking. That last episode was good. To we'll have to do yeah. that again. Yeah, that was a good so one. Many. Yeah, we could focus them down. Um, yep. Once again, we it's just the two of us. Yep. We can make it if we try. It's just the two of us. You and I. You and I. Um, Anthony, out again. It's all right. It's all right. Know, where did he say he was flying to? I can't remember where he said he was flying I to. I can't remember either. DC? Was it DC? He's always off doing something crazy. I wonder if he actually flies or he just tells us that. <laughs> you know? He's probably just going to Tulsa. Tulsa yeah. to Dallas. I'm going to DC. Now, that would be awesome if that were yeah. the case. Like, no. he had this whole alter ego thing going on, but I'm pretty no. sure he's flying. He's yeah, fine. He's fine. He gets, um, he's got a pretty good job. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Because he flies, stays for three days, and does all the sightseeing stuff. And, and he then, eats... Fancy Play. food, and then he flies yeah. home. Yeah, yep. pretty cool. I'm just driving to work. Just dri- yeah, he's got a fly. When I know his Gulf streams are nice too, so yeah. he flies those. That's pretty cool. But yeah, yeah we, we miss him. So man down, missing Anthony again. So we we're moving forward just so we can get some content to our faithful listeners. Faithful, just That's like the right. 49ers. Show 49er faithful. The show must go on even without Sir Anthony. Mm-hmm. So since he's not here, and we kind of talked about this last time, we we did seriously. Let's talk about basketball, man. Let's do it. it. We're we're in the middle of the NBA playoffs. I'm a I'm a fan of the NBA. I like it quite a bit. Um, I stumbled upon it when I was like nine years old, ten years old. Stumbled upon, yeah. The so NBA? I, I think I've mentioned this before, maybe even the last podcast. And I it feels like it's uh, like I'm digging something deep out of my childhood that hurt me. But All my right. parents didn't. We didn't have cable, right? And the NBA was never as uh, like it. It didn't seem to be as prominent like when I was a kid. Like, right. a, but then the NBC picked it up and they kind of started right. showing in the playoffs, right? So I yeah. remember seeing that. Some days in the playoffs, yeah. But we took a summer va- like early summer vacation, like as soon as school was out, down to New Braunfels, Texas, to a water park, a water park called Schlitterbahn. Sounds fun. It is actually a really cool water park. It uh, it incorporates the river there, the uh, mm-hmm. the Guadalupe River, um, and so like nice cold mm-hmm. water. And uh, there's some shade there, which is important for me because yeah. I'm super pale. Um, yep. Yeah, I used to have red hair. Now I have no hair, but I'm super you pale. You used to have red hair? I did, yeah. Just I need like, to see a picture. It's like Asher. Uh, probably maybe a little oranger than Asher. So, um, so yeah, so we were down there, and I rem- my, my grandfather, uh, my mamaw and papa went with us, and my papa was a fan of basketball. And I remember watching it in the hotel, and I remember watching, hotel. I remember watching Jordan lose to Ooh. the Pistons. Ooh. But I was hooked. But I was hooked. So it was like 89, I think. I yeah. think he lost 88 and 89, right? Or And 90. 90. Not all, all three to the Pistons. Yes, he did. I thought the Celtics beat him in the in the 88. Well, maybe the finals, but not Eastern Conference Finals went in the playoffs. He got yeah, 89 and 90, a, right? He, yeah, I don't know. By the Pistons. Something like that. Okay. I just remember watching it, and uh, and I was hooked. And I remember not liking the Pistons, and that's no when I, the Pistons, then I fell in love from with Michigan. Fell in love with Jordan, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so we thought we'd talk some basketball, and uh, it's been a big. I mean, I would. It's my favorite sport, uh, and I always joke because I'm built for it. You are, which I, you're bald. If you could ever, if you ever meet me, then you'll short, chubby dude is not built for basketball. But uh, it's okay. I love it. I love it. I do it's too. my favorite sport. Uh, my favorite NBA team is the Dallas Mavericks. Go Mavs. Go Mavs. Let's go. But and uh, but. Just like you, Lucas. Just like me. I was enamored with Michael Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That's right. I was enamored by Michael yeah. with Michael Jordan. So we thought we'd do our top three Jordan playoff moments, uh-huh. which is well, really hard. And then are we going to do non-Jordan too? Yeah, and then we'll, let's roll into because non-Jordan too because we might we right. might uh, cross here. Yeah, we that's the get, reason we're going to do the non-Jordan because, you know. Chances are we probably have. But he's got a lot. He's got a lot. I looked on one website out of sixty top moments, he had ten of them. <laughs> so I'm like, dang, we gotta. It was it was harder for me to find non Jordan moments for me than Jordan moments. Yeah, I have crazy. a focus there because of the Mavs. Right. So I just focused on them. But even then, they. I mean, they have a lot of 
they don't always end in the finals though. That's, That's <laughs> Jordans fine. are pretty spectacular because yeah. I actually tried. I didn't actually. Uh, I think only. Well, no, that's not true. Two of mine are from the finals. So, from anyway. Jordan? Yep. From All right, Jordan. I'll, I'll start it. You can kick it off. All, All right. right. So, uh, 1986, round one, game two. He missed most of the regular season with a broken foot. Yep. But he came back against the Celtics that had five five or six Hall of Famers. Dropped 63 points in the garden. I know he got swept. It's only a five-game series. Did you see him right now doing the, like... Between the legs? Between the legs. Between yeah. the legs. Between the legs. Shot. Yeah. Yeah, Done. I mean, yeah. Larry Bird's guarding him, so whatever. But I mean, uh, still, yeah. it's amazing. No, man. it's amazing. Still amazing. playoff record um, to this day. Yeah, it's great. Um, put the NBA on notice. NBA on notice that there's a new sheriff in town. That's right, man. New sheriff in town. Larry Bird called him. Uh, what do you call him? Oh, God dude. disguised. Yeah, basketball player disguised as God. Or something yeah, like that. yeah, that's, that's not great. a quote from me. That's, that's Larry not, Bird. That's not. That's not your thoughts. That's no, not your. Uh, no. That's not your. <laughs> Your, I know Jesus could drop more than sixty three. Yeah, say. for sure, for, for sure. sure. Even on the Bird. even on the Celtics, <laughs> even on the yeah. Celtics. That's yeah. my number three. That's good. That's a good one. Of course, uh, being a Jordan fan, all these you get kind of you know. It, there's so many, right? But I did go with ones that I actually I didn't because we weren't we you weren't watching that one. That was three, but it's just so iconic. Six. It is. He it's unbelievable. Hair. He had hair. It was all my. Yeah, he did have hair. Uh, Isn't that crazy? That's it was nuts. only his like second season in the league. I think all right? the ones that I picked, he is bald. For sure. Yeah, he's pretty much bald yeah. from the late 80s on. So. Yeah. All right, my number three, first round, uh, game three, uh-huh. 1991 against the Knicks. Ooh. This is the, they got, it's Oakley, I think, and Starks, right? Oakley and Starks, he almost got him in the corner. Oakley's like his best friend. But his yeah. best friend, but yeah. they, they're on the Knicks. They almost yeah. got him in the corner. He's like dribbling away from the basket. Oh, yep. He pivots, comes back, and then Baseline. just... Posterizes Ewing. Yeah. I mean, I have this picture in my classroom. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, just tongue out, yeah. just crushing on Ewing and yeah. poor Ewing. I mean, Always he just can't get Ewing. away from Good Jordan. Night. No, he can't get away from college. Him. college all the way through the pros. Yeah. Man, he Jordan like really crushed a lot of guys' legacies. I mean, just a lot. Just took her Ewing heart. and Malone and Barkley mm. and you know the Drexler. Oh my gosh, he yeah. just. Well, he got his. He got his. Well, he did. He did. Jordan, anyway, Jordan wasn't in the league when he. got He his. was not. That's a, that's a good debate. All okay. right, that's my number three. Okay, number two. You probably have this one too. It's called the flu game. But if anyone watched the um, <laughs> documentary like, on ESPN, <laughs> that's right. He ate the pizza. It was like bad right. pizza, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was food poisoning, according to the man himself. That's pretty funny, um, actually. <laughs> but it was Game Five, nineteen ninety-seven Finals, and this is like I was hungry. Ordered me a pizza. Five yeah. guys delivered the pizza. I was the only one who ate the pizza. Drops thirty eight points, seven boards, carried off um, iconically by Pippen. Yeah, he looks um, he looks awful between between yeah. plays, timeouts, all this bad. stuff. Yeah, but yeah, that's just iconic too. I mean, that's back when I was whew, yep. eighth grade, maybe. Yeah, that was my exactly honorable bit. mention. I say flu game, yeah. even though it's food poisoning. food poisoning. I had those yeah. shoes too, so I have connected. There. <laughs> I had those shoes. Yeah, of course you do. Of those, course you I do. think those are the 14s. I couldn't tell Maybe you, man. 13s, but couldn't anyways. tell you. All right, 1991 oh, yeah. finals game two. I picked it. Yeah, the up and under. Yeah. Spectacular move, move by, by Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, went on to win his first title. So. I think they were down 1-0, right, to the Lakers? This is they game were. number two? They lost game one. And they won the next four. So, yes, one and, and that that was the end of Magic Johnson. Yep. Yeah, I think that summer, didn't he come out and say it? Mm, that summer or next summer, something like that. But I can't he remember. Done. He was done. And the Dream Team was pretty soon after that, too, which was yeah, pretty awesome. Too. But, yeah, so that's my number two, which I know is very, like, cliche, iconic. But it just, I mean, you know, I was 11 years old, mm-hmm. and this was at the... Like, this is the point of, yeah. like, he he's becoming my, like, I'm shifting from baseball now. Yeah. I'm done. Like, I'm all basketball at this point. <laughs> if you yeah. watch these highlights, though, he's going up with the right. It does. It's unnecessary. It's, it's unnecessary. unnecessary. It's unnecessary. He's like, well, I thought yeah. so-and-so was going to block me. Like, there's no one even jumping. It's unnecessary. He's just showing yeah, off yeah. at that point. What's and then the, kiss it off the... What's the play where he, he, like, gets the steal, he, he, he saves it from out of bounds, right? Yeah, the who's ju- that against? Is that was that Lambert? That's a Pistons. I right? think it was a Pistons. And he flips it up over backwards, backwards over his head. Oh, that one too. Kyle, that's, that's a Kyle, great one. There's one against that's the Cavs. One. It's my f- play, not the Cavs. Um, it might be the Cavs. I can't remember. They're in light blue jerseys. So he like palms the ball in the guy's face. Nah, and then that's dunks enough. it. That's amazing. This is, he he 
hangs in the air for so long. He goes up and under that. like three times. I'm not kidding you. It's it's you have to look it yeah. up. I don't know. It's just when he yeah. was when he was young and so athletic. We get him kind of at the end of his career. I did kind of the end of his career. You know, memory all of the stuff like his second repeat. Yeah. But when he was young in the '80s, like the dude was off the charts. Athletic. Off the charts, yeah. Off the, off charts, the charts. Good, good defender. Like off the charts, man. Oh, yeah. I think it's just his. Uh, we well, didn't as take care he of aged, his body. Yeah, I know. Drinking I know, and smoking man. and all that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It was still great. Yeah. All right. All right. Are we on number one? I think so, man. All right. Number one. Um, this is game one of the '92 finals. They're getting ready to play uh, Clyde Drexler, and everyone's talking about oh, Clyde Drexler is better than Jordan. Blah blah. And you know he takes that personally. Yeah, he he always creates a story. Yeah, he always, right? It probably wasn't even said. You know, he just makes yeah. All if you stuff watch the uh, documentary, man, yeah, it's like days. he just creates. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. just I'll just drive some craziness. Um, yeah, but he made he wasn't known for shooting three pointers, but he made six in the first half. Yeah, it was unbelievable. And it's the famous shrug, like Meh. yeah, you it's know? awesome. And he I love does it. it to Magic Johnson, who was doing the game broadcasting. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And like they were playing cards the night before to probably three o'clock in the morning and. He's, it's just so iconic, you know. Yeah, it's unbelievable, and and like, especially well, I don't know what I'm doing. like how it happened when you say six. Did he end up with six, or did he have seven threes in that game? I can't remember. Uh, Didn't he hit one in the second half? I can't. I remember. don't know. But when you when you talk about that nowadays, it, that's like nothing. Like dudes are taking 13, 14 yeah, threes different, nowadays. Different it's just yeah. different game. So, but the final score was eighty five to eighty. Back in that then, point, yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Like in that in that era, man, that was yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah huge. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my number one ninety eight finals. Uh, it's like a sequence. He gets mm-hmm. the he gets the steal on Malone, mm-hmm. takes it down. Well, back up before. The, oh yeah, you're you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. My bad. My he, bad. My this bad. is the this is his. I mean, this is the iconic. So the, the year before he hits a shot on, on Russell. Yeah. Uh, too, but this is the one where he crosses him over. Yep. And uh, leaves him, and then hits the winner, iconic. and uh, it's over. Yeah, yep. and then and that's his third. That's yep. his third uh, final, and he ends. Ian's Malone. Too. Yep. So they were down coming into that yep. timeout. They were down, and they just give it to him and get out of the way. He does a yep. quick layup. Then they're yep. down by one, and then you're talking about he comes behind Malone yeah. and just, I mean, yeah. takes his soul at that point. Yep. I think. Yeah. And then like <laughs> so bad. Everyone in the anyone millions watching know like he ain't passing this ball. No, he ain't passing this ball. Hey man, if you watch, I know that everybody's got like a comment about the about like the. You know, he kind of he puts his hand on his hip or whatever. The guy was falling down. But he, Brian already, yeah, he was. His name. Yeah, yeah, Russell. He was. Uh, he had already fouled him. Like they didn't yeah. call that stuff back then. No. Also, the previous year, he like straight just hacks him mm. before he gets away to the left and hit the shot to win that finals. Yeah, and so that guy just probably has nightmares of Michael Jordan. Well, so. according to Michael Jordan in the Last Days documentary, when he was retired, he went to the uh, practice facility in Chicago, and the Jazz were playing. Okay, so he went there to say hi to Malone and Stockton, and there's rookie bet name. He did. There was a rookie named By- Brian Russell there. And he's like, "Why did you retire? I could guard you, man." And so you, you know, stop. So you just stop uh, baseball at that moment. Mental <laughs> moat right there. And That's then right. three, four that. years later, gotcha. Yeah, twice. Yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, so, pretty great, man. Yeah. Um, so those are my my top three, and then I did have the flu game. Of course, yeah. uh, is is probably the one that sticks out to me too. So yeah. it's my honorable mention. So. Yeah. It's good stuff. You want to hear my top three non-Jordan? I do, because I don't you, know if I have a good devotional for this one, so I'm going to drag this out a little bit. <laughs> well, so we're going non-Jordan, but but you might as well just call these top three Dirk moments in the playoffs. <laughs> That's all right. I don't so, have any Dirk moments. I'm a huge Dirk Nowitzki fan. I, I think I've already mentioned my uh, my love for the Dallas Mavericks. Um, uh, Luca's got some pretty cool moments, too. We've got Terry's got some, but, but I'm going to stick with Dirk. He's, he's my guy. So I've got three... And I've got a couple honorable mentions, but do it. My number three, I'm going to go with lifting the trophy. It, it, he didn't have the greatest finals game in 2011 to end the finals. I think he ended up with some tw- a little over 20 points. I'm trying to remember. He started off cold. The, I mean, it just felt like the Mavs were going to do it. It was back in Miami. Um, feel like they just had their number. It was an unbelievable run that year. But that, like him crying, leaving the court mm-hmm. in the final seconds, and like them having to drag him back on to lift the trophy, man, yeah. that was just, oh my gosh, it was so amazing. That's I great. It. Yeah. This is sad for me to say, but there was a few years there where I was kind of on Team LeBron. Oh, god! And now listen. So sad. Like, he, when he left Cleveland, he was getting so much heat, right? Like, heat, no, you know, but, like, just everyone was making fun of him over and over and over, yeah. criticizing the guy. That's how he did it. And I understand. It's pretty awful. It was, but, like, like I'm going to... You know, kind of like I kind of like Dwayne Wade at the time and Pat oh. Riley and stuff. And then, uh, 
oh, after about two years of watching that, I'm like, this guy, I, he's no, no. I mean, LeBron is a good basketball player. Yeah, like he does, he does things different than Jordan. I'm not a Wade fan at all. I can't stand that guy. Yeah. Anyways, back to the moments because yeah, back to those the moments. guys. Yep. Yeah. So I have uh, what do I got here? Pacers defeat the Knicks in Game One of the 1995. I didn't finish is this, it. Is this is first or second round, probably. Is this game? Is this the... Yeah. Yeah, so, I love that. Uh, I love that. Reggie Miller, which... Man, we can do a whole podcast on Reggie Miller. I like Reggie Miller. I do, too. <laughs> yeah. um, he scored eight points in 8.9 seconds. It was unbelievable. To rip the heart... And, and you guys got to go back. Like, the Pacers and Knicks, like, hate yeah. each other. Yeah. Like, it's a huge rival back in the 90s. Yeah. And then, of course, Spike Lee is over there on the sideline, and Reggie Miller gives a two-handed choke sign. Yeah. Spike Lee. I love that. Um, I love that so much. And you had, like, Scotty Pippen earlier, you know, telling him to sit down. I mean, yeah. Spike Lee was, I don't know how he's always in those moments, but he's in more. We could he's talk. a huge Nick fan. Yeah, he's just, always there yeah. with his glasses and being a goofball. Yeah. But Reggie Miller giving it to him, man. That's so great. I mean, yeah. to score eight points in 8.9 seconds is pretty unbelievable. Well, and, and, to, and the Knicks. Nobody likes the Knicks. Come no. on. Yeah. It's awful. Holly, Reggie Miller. Yeah, he's the best. I like. You know, he's big into mountain biking now. Did you know yeah. that? He's made a giant bike. Yeah. Has to be right. Anyway, I all don't right. Know. My number two, two thousand six. Another great little run for the Mavs. They just didn't quite get it done. But game seven of the Western Conference semifinals, the and one. So unfortunately, Dirk's career lined up with the mighty Spurs and with Shaq and Kobe. So it was really tough for us to break through. But this yeah. was to send us to the Western Conference Finals. Dirk hits an and one at the end of the game. I think there was still like, but this is that era of the NBA. There's still like 30 seconds left, but it, it was what did it. So he hit the and one, puts us up, and then we we go on to the Western Conference Finals. And that was a big, big deal. And they did it in San Antonio. So we won the game in San Antonio. It was huge. I, I you know, it was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the Spurs. There's something well, no. about Popovich and the whole, I don't know. I mean, the whole the whole thing, I just don't like. I respect them. the system. It's just uh, it's tough. They it it was frustrating <laughs> for me. Yeah, right. It's yeah. not my cup yeah. of tea, but they were frustrating for me um, for sure. That was a good one. So this one, I don't remember watching this one. I was just kind of doing some research on historic playoff moments, and this one also comes from '86. But it's the great Larry Joe Bird. Um, he scored a triple double in the '86 Finals against the Rockets with 29 points, 11 rebounds, and 12 assists. Pretty impressive. Read a little more into it. The Celtics ended their season 50 and one at home. Yeah, for the season. Like I did, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I think they 50 were just, and one. Dude, they were incredible, man. I just I read that and I was like, well, I have to mention. We missed it. I mean, I didn't. I don't. I never watched this. I just remember Larry Bird being hurt. Like yeah. his back back. Right. That's all I remember. And this is the team that Jordan dropped 63 points against, and yeah. everyone's like, oh, you got swept. Well, they didn't ever lose. Yeah, they didn't. They were unbelievable. They were ridiculous. Yeah. And so. he he was Larry Bird, man. He crazy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy good. We could do a so, podcast yeah. on Larry Bird, too. Like, Yeah. We just and, changed this podcast to basketball. Let's just focus on basketball yeah. players. The podcast. Let's do it. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is good. Uh, right. So my number one is uh, game... Winning shot in the 2011 finals in game two. So he, three seconds left, he hits a layup to tie mm-hmm. the series 1 1. I really think if that did not happen, this is Dirk, by the way, against the Heat. This is the first year super team, right? First year that yeah. we really had seen a team do that, really like mm-hmm. a, a symbol. I mean, I guess you could yeah. say like, you know, Shaq moved to the Lakers and stuff like that, but yeah. this is really the beginning of super teams. Right. And, uh, you know, really. For the Mavs to make it back to, we we went through a couple of really good teams to get there. Uh, we ended Kobe's Lakers. We we went through OKC. Um, mm. Man, we played. OKC was talented. Oh, they should have won the title that year, honestly. Yep. Westbrook lost it for them. I'm going to throw that out there. But um, so so we went and played the Heat, which I did not expect to to beat them in the finals. And uh, and Dirk tied the series with a game winning winning layup there. Um, mm-hmm. It was it was awesome. So that's my. That's my top moment. We, of course, we went on to win the finals that year. So. In six? Uh, yep, in six games. LeBron choked at finals, too, man. Yep. It was kind of... I mean, they had three seconds left, and honestly, Dwayne Wade took like a super deep, almost fadeaway three uh, to try to to try to try win, which was, I mean, even in itself is stupid. But hey, yep. Dirk went on a tear that year. He it did. It was awesome. Well, who was, was the awesome. other 
Terry. Jason. I Terry? mean, Jason Terry, but man, if you think about it, we had Jason Kidd, uh, we had Sean Marion, uh, uh, Tyson Chandler was our center. Good, that's a good team. It was a good team, uh, but I would that's say like team. not like all those guys were not, and Terry came off the bench. Um, so he was he was like great six man, but like Dirk Dirk did it without. I mean, it was team. You know, it was really cool. It was team ball. Yeah, team yeah. ball for sure. That's good. It was fun. That's a good. It was one. fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's good. I so mine is a, not a Jordan moment, but it is a Bulls moment. The Game Six, ninety three Finals versus the Suns. Um, yeah. So good. this ball touches four players before the shot. So Jordan passed to Pippen. Pippen passed to Grant. Horace Grant passed out to John Paxson. Boom. So the ball movement, right? Just yeah. It's awesome. Nailed it. Um, Nailed it. Yeah. And just won that three Once again, for him. Killed Barkley's legacy. Ripped it out. He ripped it out, man. Yeah. But ripped Jordan had like, I don't remember what they said. That, that series, he averaged like 44, 45 points a game. Uh, something crazy. I was going to say that's like one of his, uh, I don't know, like 55 points or something against. He, isn't that the series where he missed? Like, he went like, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating, man. Go look it up. I don't think against the Suns. I think he went 0 for 24 in a game. No. I, dude, I'm not 0 for 24, but I think he missed like 24 shots in a game. Well, he probably I, shot a 60, so. Well, yeah. So, yeah. like, he missed 24 shots and then came, I think, I'm, I don't remember how many he scored, but I'm sure he shoots free throws and all that stuff. But yeah. then he comes back the next game, and then I think, I want to say that's a 55-point game he had against them. I mean, I watched Jordan play a lot of games, and I've never seen him miss a shot, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, fair. No. That's fair. No, uh, but that's I do crazy. have a few honorable mentions here. Give them? So, I, I don't so, think I'm going to go over my devotional, so let's drag this out a few <laughs> Let's check this out. Yep. So Dirk had a 50-point game against Phoenix and gave five of the 06 Western Conference 06. Finals. Is this like uh, they Nash? Went, yep. Uh, Nash well, Nash is on that. Phoenix. Sean yeah, Marion, yeah, yeah. um, Stoudemire. Stoudemire. Those were the three. He was yeah. good. Yeah. Well, then Tim Thomas. You remember him? Tim Thomas. Yeah. So in the dude. game before, yeah, he's a big guy. He guarded Dirk, and Dirk only scored 11 points. Dirk was off, and he made a... He got in Dirk's face, and, and Dirk, that was always, like, the thing. Everybody talked about how, you know, he's just kind of a quiet guy. I mean, mm-hmm. he, he just wasn't going to, none of that junk, right? Right. And uh, he got in Dirk's face, like, towards the end of the game and made a, a kissy, no, kissy at Dirk. No. So Dirk went out the next game and dropped 50 on him. 50. They won that game, and then they went on. 50 burger. They went on to win, like, the next, I think it was the next two, and uh, because I think it went seven games, and they went to the finals that year. Should have won, actually. It was a joke. What year was this? 06? <clears> 06. <throat> 06. That's not going to be by the then, Dwayne Wade and them in the finals. Yeah, it was disgusting. Uh, the rest started calling it completely different. That guy's even, he he's the guy that, uh, Delaney, that, like, he was into gambling and stuff, got kicked out. So you're blaming it all on the rest? I am this one. Yeah, I don't do that normally, but I am that one. Okay. That hurt. Uh, then I have another, these are game performances, so not I'm, singular I'm, moments. So, yep, I'm all ears. In 2011, Western Conference Finals, uh, first game against OKC. Mm-hmm. So Oklahoma City at this time, this is when the young the young guys were really. Wow, I mean, they, they played so well together. Harden, um, KD, mm-hmm. and Westbrook. Westbrook. Mm-hmm. But really, Harden and KD had this great chemistry. Um, Harden was coming off the bench. I don't know if you remember, but I he do. was coming six off six man. man. Yeah, great chemistry. Uh, we were down fifteen points first game. I really think this is. I really think I. I want to say it was in OKC too, if I remember right, and. Uh, we we went on a run, and Dirk went 24 for 24 Dang. from the free throw line. Isn't that unbelievable? That's I guess pretty, pretty crazy. That's Seven pretty footer. 24 24. He scored 48 points. We ended up winning that game. Uh, and that was like we, we, it was from, uh, we did come back from a 15 point deficit, like in the fourth quarter to do that, which was not, it mm. didn't happen as much back then no. to do that. And uh, I'll be honest with you, Westbrook. Started jacking threes up, <laughs> and it's really what happened. Now, I think Harden fell out of that game, too. Anyway. I mean, all three of those guys for the Thunder were MVPs later on. Oh, yeah, careers. it's unbelievable. Yeah, but unbelievable. But they couldn't, they just, I don't know. I'm telling you, man, it's Westbrook. He's a problem. So, then I have one more. Dirk also has a flu game in his career. Oh, we mean also, because Jordan was food poisoning, but go ahead. Oh, that's right, no, that's right. Kidding. Yeah, we call it flu game. Uh, So, Dirk, in the 2011 Finals, was running uh, 102 I do, I do feet. This. Remember, they made fun of him. Yeah. They were down 2-1 in that series. So this is, we had won were the second really game. Down yeah, to down 2-1. And we I ended up winning. I remember that. So we're down 2-1, and we ended up winning three in a row. Yeah. And, um, Took the heart right out of LeBron James. Yeah, so only 9% of teams, when yeah. they go down 2-1, have come back. And Dallas yeah. has done it twice. 
We've done it twice. We did it against Phoenix a couple years ago with Luca. We did it again in the finals with. How uh, does Luca play in this league? He has no muscle tone whatsoever. (laughs) He's so so good, though. He is good. He's so good. He's a character, though. Yeah, he scored. So Dirk didn't. He came out and scored like the first six points of that game with 102 fever. He went on to have 24 points and like one block and like six assists. It wasn't a crazy great game, but I think just his presence, Presence, setting the tone, the spacing on the floor. I think it was just it, the team talks about that, how it was yeah, like, man, we're, we're doing this for, for Dirk. He's going to be out here sick, then we're going to put the yeah. effort in. It was really great, man. So he had a good owner, too. and just, He sold him, though, didn't he? He sold him, but he's still like, I don't know, they call him like the governor of basketball yeah. operations. Like he just made up some title for himself. Yeah. And he I mean, still owns like a minority. Yeah, I don't know if he was a great owner or not, but he, I think he was player friendly. And he's a fan. He would spend money. He cares. He's a fan. I think he was like the first one to bring yeah. like PlayStations in the locker room and yeah. some stuff like that. Well, like his, he, his thought process there was, this is Mark Cuban we're talking yeah. about, is that visitor, even the visitor locker room, he has like super nice robes and towels and he really? wants he wants free agents to be like, dang. There you go. You know? Yeah. And best airplane in the league, like all this stuff. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's a, yeah. He's got he's money. Crazy. Yeah. He's, so. he's got more now. He sold... Like the portion he sold was like for three billion or something. Three like that. bills. Yeah, and it was. I think he still has a little bit of minority yeah. stake in it, and he sold it to the that lady that's like a casino, uh, whatever. So supposedly they're. I guess they know something's going to happen in Texas where they're going to approve. Oh, I got gambling you. or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, very interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Man, that's fun. It's good stuff. Yeah. Look at the fun we have when Anthony's not. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, we need no, Anthony no. back. We need to get Anthony's uh, top three basketball yeah. moments. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My devotional doesn't really go with basketball, so we're just going to – I'll save that one for another time. Okay. Sounds good, so, man. Yep, no yep. worries. That's fun. Good All stuff. right. Good go stuff. Mavs. Maybe maybe we're getting it done by now. I don't know. Like, when this one comes out, we're hopefully in the second round against OKC. And maybe we, maybe we swept them. Let's go to a game. Uh, dude. You pay my ticket, don't, I'll go. Don't you tip pay me. my ticket, I'll drive. Don't tip me. There you go. Don't tip me. Don't tip me. All right. You guys have a good one. See ya.